So today we're gonna to be checking out yet another random flanker from Mont Blanc. This one is Individuel Tonic. This one's popped up on YouTube a couple times already. And this is uh, another interesting one because not too long ago, we just discovered Star Walker Extreme. Both these fragrance lines were lines that have been out for a long time now, and uh, neither of them have had flankers up until this point. And again, what's also weird about this is you don't see any information about this from Mont Blanc or really anywhere else. There's a couple places online currently selling individual tonic. I bought this one from Maximum Fragrance. Uh, they are a Canadian website, Canadian discounter, and they shipped it here to the US uh, really quickly. Didn't really cost all that much money, uh, and so, you want to get this that's probably where I would go uh, so great website there I'm not affiliated with them at all they don't even know I exist probably uh, but that's where I got it if you're interested and with Starwalker Extreme this one I picked up off of NordstromRack.com so it was online I think people were finding them in stores as well uh, currently I believe this one is sold out and so it's gonna be a little bit harder to get for a while. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make here is it's just weird because they're just popping up out of nowhere at these websites that you maybe haven't really necessarily thought to go to before, like Nordstrom Rack, it's just random. And actually Mont Blanc isn't really the only brand to do this type of thing this year because Versace Eros Parfum was also released in a somewhat similar way where they just put it out there. It just kind of randomly showed up on Dillard's, I believe, and then slowly populated to some of the other retailers like Macy's and that sort of thing. But it's just kind of happening at random here. And brands like Mont Blanc and Versace are, are big brands, so it's just strange. So I'm not sure what's going on, but anyway, we're gonna dive into Individual Tonic, tell you how it smells, how it compares to the original, and if I think it's gonna be any good. Now I will say, I haven't had the best luck with tonic fragrances. A Zara wanted tonic, yeah, not so good. Um, I believe there's also a Hugo Boss bottled tonic, which I'm also not a fan of. It's just a very weak scent. And so uh, typically the the uh, tonic flankers don't work well with me. It's a lot of the fresh flankers sometimes don't work well with me either. Uh, but we'll give this one a try and see what it's all about. And I also should mention, I haven't been able to find a note breakdown on this one yet, so I won't be able to provide that information. We'll just go off of smell. Here's the bottle, so it's green. So I guess that's better than being blue, right? Because a lot of the tonics out there are blue. So seeing the bottle, I would imagine it to be maybe an aromatic scent, green, that sort of thing. Uh, but I really don't know. So we're just gonna find out, get it on skin and uh, see what it's all about. It's actually, it's been a while since I've held a Mont Blanc Individuel bottle. So it's kind of a throwback for me. It opens up with this freshness this kind of uh, lavender clean smell. I'm getting a little bit of an herbal quality as well, like a clary sage type of thing. I'm also picking up on just modern aroma chemicals. So your typical like isoe super slash cashmere type of thing, I'm getting some of that. It smells to me nothing like the original Individuel. So for those who are unaware, Mont Blanc Individuel was released and then Creed decided to copy them and released original Santal. That's kind of what happened there. People will get it backwards and say that Mont Blanc copied Creed uh, when in fact the Mont Blanc did come out first. And so that's why I always say on the channel, Mont Blanc got revenge by copying Aventus with Explorer and that one turned out really good. So just to set that straight there, that's how that went. And so comparing this to Individuel, I'm not really getting a comparison really at all. Individuel has lavender, but it also has raspberry. It has this clean linens type of smell. This one here just doesn't have a similar thing going on to me. So what I do like about this so far is it doesn't have a watery smell. So a lot of times, you know, tonic flankers may have an aquatic note or a watery note, and I'm not getting that from here. Primarily, I'm just getting a, uh, just a freshness. It, to me, comes across very generic. Like this is the type of thing that I could smell and then forget about. Like there's nothing about this that will make me think later on down the road, ooh, I wanna wear Mont Blanc Individual Tonic. I'm really craving that. I don't think that would ever happen. And that's because it's forgettable, man. There's just nothing about this that will really capture your attention all that much. It is boring. I mean, it just, there isn't really a whole lot to it. The original Individuel is unique for what it is. You know, it, it's something that will draw people in and it's a fragrance that 
you know, I haven't forgotten how it smells. I haven't smelled it in a long time. I don't even have my bottle of Individuel anymore, but I still remember how it smells vaguely, but I still remember how it smells like a lot. Like if I were to grab a bottle and smell it right now, that would line up perfectly with what I remember it to smell like because it's just one that sticks in your head. This here, not so much. This one is an eau de toilette concentration. As it's on my skin right now, it's actually coming off relatively strong. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's going to be a great performer because I kind of have my doubts with that, given that it, it just doesn't really have much going for it to begin with. But I don't really think it's going to be necessarily a terrible performer, like a two or three hour fragrance, like some tonics out there. I think it'll probably be a good six hours, maybe seven, maybe eight, who knows? I don't think it's going to be terrible, but I also am not too confident that's going to be a beast mode scent either. So that's something that I'll have to test on my skin. I honestly don't even know if I'm going to do a full review on this because it just doesn't really intrigue me all that much. But I would say performance may not be too bad with this one, but it's way too soon to tell. As it's on my skin, I'm able to smell it. So obviously I can bring it up, smell it. It's a bit more harsh on my skin. I can. It's kind of filling up the area around me and occupying the space. So I think it'll be a, a solid projector. Now talking about the quality. It is a little bit on the cheap smelling side. Now, I have had and smelled so many affordable fragrances, and I'm not really too harsh on quality. I mean, some of my favorite fragrances that I like to mention on the channel are cheaper ones, and I don't beat them up over quality. I think that you get what you pay for in a lot of instances, but also a lot of times you can get things that are maybe better than what you paid for. There are some cheapies out there that really come across smooth and well blended. And so just because a fragrance is cheap or just because I don't like a fragrance doesn't make me want to beat up the quality about it. So I'm, I'm always fair with that. Uh, but this one here to me does smell a little bit cheap. And to be fair, the original Individuel smelled a bit cheap to me as well. That was one of the main reasons why I just parted with my bottle. It's one that I didn't really wear. It's one that sometimes would just not really sit well with me. I enjoyed how it smelled, but it was almost too screechy and strong for me. And so I just ended up getting rid of it. It just wasn't one that I liked to wear. And kind of a similar thing here where, you know, it, it's not overly smooth. It's not super high quality. It kind of is in line with the original in terms of its delivery here with quality. Now go over to another cheap fragrance from the same brand, Star Walker and Star Walker Extreme. Guess what? The quality on these is fantastic. So again, this is not me hating on the brand, hating on the fragrance, hating on cheap fragrances because I'm a fragrance snob. That couldn't be farther from the truth. I will just call it like it is. And I think Star Walker Extreme, for example, has great quality. I don't think this one does. Now, how important quality is to you is going to be based on your personal preferences. For me, it's something that I do pay attention to, and it's something that if it is too screechy and strong, I just may not be into it. So I really don't have too much else to say about Individual Tonic. It just is kind of weird. It's a little bit lame. It's boring. There's just nothing about this that would ever make me want to wear it. And I'm trying not to sound like I'm bashing the fragrance, but that's really how it is at this point. There are so, so many fragrances out there. New fragrances being released all the time. New flankers being released all the time. We don't need something else that is just boring. To me, this is just a lame attempt at putting out something for some reason. I really don't understand the idea behind putting this out. Same even with Star Walker. This is, you know, a, a line that's been dormant for a long time, and now we get Star Walker Extreme. So it's just strange to me. I think Star Walker Extreme is a really good fragrance. I don't think this one is. So sorry, Maximum Fragrance. What ended up being a free advertisement for you maybe will not be so much because I really don't think you should buy this. That being said, it was cool to see this pop up. It's always cool to see new fragrances pop up, new flankers pop up, especially from a line that hasn't had any flankers at all and from a line that has been out for a long time. You know, like when we saw the new Versace Eros Flame come out after there was no other Eros fragrances released, that was pretty cool. But then it'll get to a point where they start puking them out all the time. Not long after that, we had Eros EDP and then Eros Parfum, and I don't think these big brands are going to stop with the flankers once they get the ball rolling. Uh, Mont Blanc, you know, with these couple lines here, they weren't doing anything with that. Obviously, they have a ton of legend flankers and, you know, some other lines with a lot of flankers, but it's kind of cool to see... I would like to see them 
maybe revisit some other fragrances and make some more worthwhile flankers, but we'll have to see. So guys, that's my thoughts on Individual Tonic. If you've had a chance to try this one yet, let me know what you think. It, it's clean, it's pleasant, but it's just a, a, a boring scent. Lavender, freshness, some green aromatic notes. No spiciness about it. Not really like a, a super vibrant citrus or fruitiness about it either. It's just kind of bland. That's just kind of where it sits. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.